Welcome back, my loyal Canadian subjects. Your leader, Wilfred Laurier, the superb of Canada, has finally returned. And it's time for us to continue our Civilization VI playthrough with the Canadian people, baby. And the world is at war. It's turn 131, the year is 375 AD, and everyone has an enemy right now. Except for us here in the north. No one can declare a surprise war on us, and so far no one has denounced us, but look what's going on. Freaking Persia, they're in a dark age right now, and a bunch of their cities are actually falling to rebellion. Parsa is right on the brink. I think it's going to, yeah, rebellion in one turn, but also the city's health is all the way down here. The war against Hungary is not going in the favor of Persia. They've already lost their other city over here of Tarsus, which is now controlled by, it's a free city, it's controlled by the rebels. And that's turning to our side, but in 13 turns, I don't want to influence that. They had another city over here, Boktri. They already lost that, that's another free city, so... Persia's already lost two cities. They're about to lose three. Oh, and they lost Orbro against Sweden as well. They took this city from Sweden. They took Grenada, the city-state. Yeah, so they've lost one, two, three, four, five cities. On the brink of five cities. So Persia in their Dark Age are really struggling right now. And also struggling in the war against Hungary. Matthias Corvinus. And Matthias... He's starting to turn the corner. Everyone, a bunch of civilizations do not, do not like Hungary. Uh, Christina from the Swedish Empire does not like Hungary. They're at war with Cyrus. They don't like a Manator, our other ally, but they are friendly with the Ottoman Empire. So we have to watch out for Hungary. They're becoming quite a little powerhouse down here. They've already taken a Maori city of uh, Kayapo. So they've taken that city from them, leaving the Maori Empire with only two cities on the continent. And now they're moving north, and we're next after they get through Persia. So we're going to have to watch out for that. Uh, if we take a look at Christina, the Swedish Empire, they're at war with an unmet player. So we really need to get some scouts out there, some warriors. I have the Canadian Mounties as well that can cover a lot of ground. I want to find out those other civilizations, who they are, and what they're up to. Uh, a Manator, one of our friends, the Nubian Empire, over here at the east of the Canadian Rockies, separated by mountains. So we're not... Uh, we're not in any threat from a Manator, but she's actually at war with the Ottoman Empire right now. The Ottomans are all the way down here. Our scout is moving through the Ottoman Empire as we speak, trying to uncover it. But yeah, that's going to be a rough battle for uh, a Manator. I don't know. I think she's got another city right here. But you can see the Ottoman Empire, they got good production, good resources, and an ocean behind them. So there's only one way to move. Really good for them. Uh, the Ottomans, yeah, they're only at war with uh, the Nubian Empire. They haven't met all the other civilizations either. Uh, the Maori, they are friendly with the uh, Nubian Empire. Everyone else, not so much. And that's it. Yeah, Persia. All right, so that is the state of the, uh, the political world right now. When it comes to the Canadian Empire, we have just started building districts. In all of our cities, Montreal is, uh, it, it finished the industrial zones, working on the workshop. Uh, Victoria finished the commercial hub, it is working on the market right now. Where is the commercial hub? There it is, right there off the coast. Uh, ah, as the Canadian uh, music kicks in, baby. Uh, Quebec City also finished an industrial zone, going for a workshop. Halifax, we got the commercial hub done right, what was it? There it is, right there. That's going to be done in one turn. So we're going to be able to get some trade routes out there, start making a little bit more money. But what I wanted to do in this video, I wanted to expand up here to the west, the northwest. A nice city right along the uh, the Indal River and take this landmass. Because right now Persia is busy fighting Hungary. Sweden, they're going to expand up here if I'm not quick enough. And that's a nice chunk of land. You have an iron resource, a silk resource, some stone resources, a river, and... Uh, who knows, once oil becomes available, that looks like we... I, I just want it. I want that land. So if I go to Ottawa right now, if I wanted to produce a settler, it's going to take 11 turns. That's going to take uh, quite some time, especially for our capital city. We already spent a lot of time getting our settlers out there. Uh, so if I wanted to purchase a settler, it's only going to cost 640. We're at 400 gold, making 40 per turn, so that'll actually be a lot quicker. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait until we have 640 gold. Purchase a settler in Ottawa, move him out here, and uh, settle our, what is it, our sixth city? Yeah, the Canadian Six, baby, let's go. All right, uh, so that's that taken care of. Let's take a look at our tech tree, what we're going for right now. Uh, currently, I'm going after the Niter resource, just so we can unlock uh, the resources that you need for musketmen. 
which are a, a big help defensively. But you know what? We are actually the Canadian people with the Mounties. We already have three horsemen out there. Perhaps I should go for the upgrade to horsemen, which I think... Hang on a second. It's not knight in, uh, in this update or in this game. It's courser. Yeah, the courser. So if I get the tech for the courser, we can upgrade our our cavalry and defend ourselves that way so what do i need for that horsemen what does it need castles technology castles all right so if i go back to construction here if i go to our technology castles all the way down there all right so courser so instead of going for the nighter resource i'm going to pick up the uh the courser tech so that we can upgrade our mounties because we're going to need a stronger military and i think that's what we can do and then i might want to target some wonders after that but for right now we'll go for the courser all right and our horsemen right now um because this city of parsa is going to turn to a rebellion in one turn i don't know if hungary is actually going to snag it up before it becomes a free city so let's get some horsemen in there just in case we might be able to yeah yeah let's go let's go in there we might be able to steal that uh city we have open borders right now with persia i want to see what's going on yeah see they have a uh uh, a siege unit here, catapult, but they may not have any melee units to go take it over. So I'm just gonna try to pick one off here with my uh, with my horsemen. Same thing with you. Get your ass down here, and we're also building another horseman in Ottawa, so you guys can all come down. There you go. I'm gonna need you guys to uh, to scout the west for me. All right, very good. All right, so that's the tech, uh, the civic tree. We're going after the merchant republic government. That will allow us to. Um, Increase our what's it called the uh, the policies. We get a lot more. I take a look at Merchant Republic. Yeah, you get six different cards there. We're only at four right now, so that'll be nice to go after. That's going to be in seven turns. So once I get that done in seven turns, we can then unlock the new uh, policy tree. Get some new cards in there to help us out. Uh, religion, great people, world climate, governors, and history timeline. Everything looks good. We're still in the golden age for another twenty-five turns. All right, that was a, a good enough long enough summary. Of what we've done in the past, now it's time to step into the future. Let's go, Canada. There it is. Parsa has turned to a free city. So it wasn't taken over by Hungary, which means that is up for grabs right now. I'm going to go for it. They have a full wall, but you got to think everyone else is all still attacking it. You have so few troops. Aren't you scared for your life? We, we the Canadian people, we the North, will not be scared. You have to denounce us if you're going to declare war. And I'll put all my cities into full production of military units. By the time you declare war, we'll be ready. With our teeth bearing. Alright, so here we go. The free city of Parsa is now attacking the uh, the Persian... What was it? Uh, chariot? There you go. So now Parsa is actually... It, there's more loyalty for the uh, Hungarian... Oh man, I always go with Hungar Hungary? No, Hungarian? Hungarian Empire. Yeah, I think that's right. Fuck. So Parsa is actually going to fall to Hungary. Tarsus now is no longer full loyalty in 148 turns. So yeah, I think there's just too much pressure coming from Hungary right now for Tarsus to fall under our control. Hungary's becoming quite a superpower here, boys. We have to be very careful. So if I take my horsemen, I'll go over here. I want to see what's going on. Yeah, see, they still besiege you. And so if they're attacking the city, I might be able to snipe it with my horsemen. Let's see if we can do that. All right, so this horseman going through the drought right now in Ottawa. He's going to come down here. All right, you as well. Get on the roads. Move a lot faster if you're on the roads. We have roads going every... So we will have roads going every city. All right, so we have our scout over here in the Ottoman Empire. I'm going to send him through. We found this city, but I want to see where... There you go. So Manator has another... They got four cities right here. Oh, man. Look at the war-torn landscape right now between a Manator and the Ottoman Empire. Those poor farmers, they're having their fields just torched. Burned. Oh my god. Choose reduction. Alright, so Halifax. You know what, boys? Hang on one second. Alright, that's a little bit better. Congestion once again, my Canadian people, but your king will have to fight through it. Alright, so we just finished the commercial hub down here in Halifax. We don't want to waste any time. The reason we're getting these financial districts built is so that we can have trade routes going. So, we want the market. Either the market for the commercial hub or the lighthouse for the harbor. I think we'll get a harbor going in Montreal instead of a commercial hub. And then the new city as well, a nice harbor. So we'll have plenty of trade routes. We'll have six trade routes if I do it right. And that will give up. We're already making plenty of money. We can continue to make more. 
All right, so I want to keep an eye on Parsa. Got to keep an eye on Hungary. But this is also why we want to expand up here. We need more cities to be able to keep up with Hungary. They're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And hell, they may even go for Tarsus, Brussels, Hagmentana. They might even go to Passar Gate. They might take it all, boys. Who's to stop them? They're powerful right now. Hagmatana is under rebellion. Oh my god, they're losing that second city, which is actually their capital. Because the population's at 10, where Passar Gede, their real capital, is only at 5. They must have been building settlers with that one. Hagmatana is a stud of a city. It's up to 11 population. Oh my god. Well, I mean, those are the free, uh, the free armies attacking Hagmatana, but still the rebellion. That's going to be 13 turns. Oh my god, the Dark Age is killing Persia. All right, here we go. Where is that? The swordsman? The free swordsman? Yeah, okay. So, the swordsmen are still moving. I don't think that siege unit attacked the city at all, so our horsemen will be useless against it. Inspiration. The success of your commercial districts has spurred the growth of trade guilds. Your progress towards guilds has advanced considerably. Good. All right, so we got that done. Uh, at last, rain has arrived to alleviate the suffering from the major drought. Already our crops are recovering, and the Ottawa drought is now a footnote in the historical record. So we are fine for our drought right now. Uh, or it's gone, I should say. Civic boost has been, uh, for guilds, has been boosted. And we can now increase our trade route. What did we just build? We get a, Okay, we got a market done in Victoria. That was it. All right, so we can get another trade route. So let's just get going on that right now. We want those traders. All right. Uh, horseman, get your ass down here. Or I should say, my Canadian Mounties get your asses down here. You as well. I want to see if we can sneak out a, a steal here. See, see, if I attack the city, all I'm going to do is a little bit of damage to the blue bar. That red bar is not getting it touched. The red bar is the the city health. The blue bar is the city walls. Right now, these walls are up completely. So I need the siege units to attack. I need uh, Persia to attack. I don't want to be the one to attack. I want to see if I can steal it. All right, but for right now, I could send some archers. Archers can't hit the city, though, over these two walls. No, 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 no. We're just going to play our style here. I don't want to uh, get Hungary to attack us. So let's not try to steal anything for him. He uh, spilt blood to get that city. It could be his. All right, so here we go. We get to go through this war-torn friggin' land now. Uh, you're going to stay put. All right, see what's going on over here. What kind of unit is that? Pitati Archer. So I guess Nubia, they're uh, archers. It's a specialty unit. Looking pretty good. Man, the Ottomans just torched their land. But they didn't take any cities, it looks like. I don't even see any military. <laughs> they just fought and died in the open fields. The cities weren't even touched. All right, next turn. Let's go. Uh, completing a trade route has completed a uh, trading post for you in the city of Quebec. Uh, what's going on down here? All right, so Parsa is... Yeah, the Persian warrior attacking the swordsman. They're not attacking this city, though. I don't want to target those swordsmen at all. Those are the free uh, the free city, um, the rebels. Yeah, and look, the catapult is not attacking the city anymore, so there's no... Ah, I'm not going to be able to steal it. I was hoping that the uh, Hungarian Empire would continue to bombard Parsa. Apparently not. Oh, my God. Persia, would you upgrade your units? There you go. One of the swordsmen are down. Look at these swordsmen. Three cities. These used to belong to Persia. Their, their people have turned on their leader. Oh my god. All right, here we go. We got some more down here, it looks like. Let's get over here. Moroi. All right. Good little city right on the other side of the river, so that's good defense for them. They also have a Stonehenge Wonder right there. A holy site. They have districts and wonders all on the outside, so I think if you put a unit there, it'll be even better defense. Yeah, I don't see that city falling. It doesn't have a wall right now, but I don't see um, just the way it's located. I don't see an overwhelming army here for the Ottoman Empire. Let's keep on looking. All right, so if anyone wants just to get a uh, bird's eye view, that's what the continent looks like in the east. Wraps around. You have all these city-states. Wraps around. The Ottoman Empire wraps up north to the um, Amanator and then up to the, uh, the ice shelf. So it cuts off right there. So we have a real good blockade here. With the, with the mountains. But also, when you think about it from their perspective, whoever whoever comes out on top in this war, they can pretty much claim all of this land. All that land on the right side of the peninsula will be available to whoever wins that war. Alright, so we completed that trade route. Good. 
Uh, Free City of Orbro has succumbed to pressure. So Orbro is now back in control of Sweden. Very good. Uh, someone is calling a special session to the World Council. Oh, man. It might be something about Hungary. We might have to go to war here to protect <laughs> to protect the world. All right, so we're still waiting on our settler in Ottawa. Uh, settler's going to cost 640 Yeah, I want to purchase it. I might even just... Who's got the better food? Victoria, 19 27 Yeah, Quebec, 21 Yeah, it'd be better to go for Ottawa here. All right. Unit needs orders. What we, What is this? Okay, so I want, yeah, I want all my traders to go to Ottawa. There you go. First, what I want are roads going to each one of our cities. So I need a road going to Toronto. Need a road going to Victoria. Already have one in Quebec City. Already have one to Halifax. Good. All right, so horsemen. Let's get up here and see if we can get a steal. You never know. Can you, nope. All right, so I might as well just stay right there. Let's see what these guys can do. I'm going to actually move right there. Let's go up on this hill and see if we got anything. No, their armies are backing off. So this city is going to drop in 12 turns, but Pars is going to turn to the uh, Hungarian Empire, boys. So this is... Uh, Hungary's getting pretty strong, and they're taking our land. Well, not our land, but land that could have been ours if Persia dropped. It's actually going to another Civ, who's got a very... I mean, that's a good chunk of land that they have, uncontested. All right, let's keep an eye on this. What's going on here? Yeah, so the encampment bombarding... There's no way I can attack with three horsemen. It won't do any any damage. And even if I take it, I think the rebellion... I think it'll still be a rebellion for Hungary. They got too much pressure. We would need to take Parsa and Hagmatana. I'll see how much damage I can do. Here we go. Special session of the World Congress. This is definitely something to do with war or... Oh, man. So, it's it's been proposed by a Civ that I haven't even met yet. I can only assume this show of force was undertaken by mistake. Should I expect a careful withdrawal from our borders momentarily? My troops are merely passing by. All right, so he's pissed off that my horsemen are close to his borders. Don't worry, my man. Military emergency. If we do not stand united, then the fate of this one city will come... Well, if we don't stand... Do not stand united, then the fate of this one city will come to us all in time. All right, so it looks like uh, only one vote in favor. I think the Ottoman Empire must have taken out the, the city-state. The four building blocks of the universe are fire, water, gravel, and vinyl. All right, so we got construction done. We can now construct the Terracotta Army, which gives all units a promotion level, and all archaeologists from the owner may enter foreign lands without open borders. All right, so must be built on flat lands, and you also get one great general point per turn. Not a bad wonder if I wanted to go for it. And the siege tower. The siege tower is great because um, if you were going to war with someone, remember how I talked to, about the uh, the wall? If you put a siege tower next to a city that you're attacking, you bypass the wall and you attack the uh, the city directly. So if I go up here, how much damage am I doing? It's not a lot of damage, boys. No, I'm going to let that just go. That's not, uh, that's not a war I want to get involved in. All right, and I want to get my units away from the lands of Persia. There you go. Get your ass up there. All right, so we got another horseman done. Ottawa. Oh, no, this is the trade route. All right, so let's just get it to Toronto. I know I could be making a lot more money by sending them out here. I could even get an envoy, but I want these roads done because uh, uh, being able to move logistics is very important if we're going to mobilize for our defense. I need to have units being crea created in every city and be able to move them to the front lines very quickly, all right? We'll go for the money later. We're making a good amount. Let's get our infrastructure set so toronto and this will give ottawa two more food and two more production as well so boom begin that trade route uh category four hurricane named layla dun, 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 continues its movement and is now headed to the southwest let's see where it is Ooh, category four hurricane istanbul watch out it's coming your way so what uh i don't know they must have taken out a city state declared friend Oh man, Moroi is actually starting to be attacked now. Maybe I was wrong about this. Uh, let's try to, let's not get in the way. There you go. Oh, I can't go that way it looks like. Let's go down here. Let's see if there's another, maybe this, no, no. They look like, uh, I'm trying to remember if these are city-states. Kanya, you think that's a city-state? I have no clue if I can tell, um, aid requests. Oh, it's aid request. Okay, target Matthias Corvinus. 
Uh, ravaged by a natural disaster. Was that the one that just popped? No, that's been there for a while. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It was proposed by a sieve that I haven't met yet, so I don't know what the hell they talked about. Uh, Victoria needs more housing. We gotta get more housing over there in Victoria. We can do that, no problem. Uh, and... Hang on a second here. Halifax also needs more housing. We'll get to that. Let's just get our districts up and running first. Choose production. Alright, so Ottawa. Good. We just got the horsemen done. Can't build any more traders. Uh, the settler, 10 turns, but I'm going to be purchasing the settler so we can save time. Uh, campus. Wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm trying to think what I want here for Ottawa. Up here in the middle. Um, a campus for science wouldn't be bad, but we're getting all of our science from the campuses and districts along the mountains. Uh, we're fine for that right now. Industrial zone may not be a bad idea to get the production better for our capital city. Uh, encampment. Encampment might not be bad, but we're not really going to war. I don't want to build any of these buildings. I don't want another wonder. We already have plenty of wonders. I'm going to need some builders eventually. We're going to need builders. Four turns for a builder. Industrial zone. You know what? I think we need builders right now because we got a lot of cities, but a lot of unworked tiles. The industrial zone is going to be something good, but uh, we're not building anything that's going to take too long right now with Ottawa. We already have real respectable production for this stage in the game, 20. Uh, the districts are only going to take like four turns, eight turns to get done. So let's uh, spend some time, get some builders done in Ottawa, all right? Yeah, let's get some builders done um, and we can start to improve every city that we have. Uh, envoy. All right, so we have an envoy. I want to continue to just get the, the, the bonuses. So I want one. Let's go for some science. Bologna. Uh, envoy. There you go. That'll give us extra science per turn. Parsa. We really want to try to get up there. So you know what? Yeah, I'm going to send my horseman up there to clear up that barbarian encampment. That's what we'll do. Go on, boys. Get your ass up there. You know what? You can stay here. I only need two. And I want to stay away from their borders. So make sure you don't piss them off. Uh, all right, very good. Let's go next turn. Is that so? Tarsus is no longer under rebellion. It is, but it's it's switching from Canadian rebellion to Hungarian rebellion and battery. I don't know how this city is not uh, belonging to or not switching to my side. What guides you? Surely you cannot believe in nothing. Come, show your people the light. Uh, I'm not religious. Our people can choose what they want to believe in. Yeah, here we go. The free city of Parsa is now having freaking horsemen and, and all this other stuff spawn in hopefully they attack persia and not us so i'm gonna leave you right there just in case they try any shenanigans all right but you guys let's get going the mounties are on the move to the west ladies and gents to see and scout out unclaimed land the category four hurricane layla has uh peter's hour petered out all right petered out never heard that before i'm gonna start using it though Maroi. Let's get over here. I don't know what that last emergency was. Maybe you guys can let me know in the chat. Alright, so this horseman, I don't know where this horseman was going. I want you back up here in the north. You're the one just completed by Ottawa. I don't need any barbarian spawning in that fog of war, so I want to have a horseman ready to go. I also have another horseman over here. Yeah, we got plenty of guys. Oh yeah, alright. Uh, this guy... Tarsus is attacking our free city. Can't have that happen. He's in the Petra Wonder. Come on, Mounties. Move. Yeah. Might even want to try to attack Tarsus. I just don't know how much damage I could do. Let me, let me try to attack Tarsus with my Bowman. See how much damage we can do to the walls. I can attack from one tile here. I'll see what I can do. Uh, Alright, so Workshop, Workshop. Trader, Workshop. And a market, yeah. We're, our production's going up. Our industrial zones are getting there. 15 turns for Hagmatana. How many more for the 20 turns? Man, he's going to stay in his dark age for that rebellion. Persia is losing the game right here. All right, so horsemen from the free city of Parsa attacking horsemen of Persia. I love a leader who is surrounded by an impressive military. Good. So we have a military that uh, he has to think about. He's actually... Um, complimenting us on it what do you think of this so she needs horses for four gold per turn uh my friend four gold per turn though it's not really that much now nah, you know what sorry there manator can't do it but open borders which means my borders must have ended with her 
Yeah, all right, hang on a second. Your friendship with the Manator has run its course and will have to be renewed. Your friendship with the Ottoman Empire has run its course has to be renewed. And Coupe has to be renewed. All right, so everyone, I'm friends with everyone, or friendly with everyone, but not declared friend. All right, so let's get those friends back, all right? A Manator. Make deal. Open borders. There you go. I'm not going to ask for any money. Uh, how gracious. So I think it's a favorable trade. Yeah, it's a favorable trade on their end. I don't know why sometimes open borders are more favorable for other people. No clue. All right, but now let us also declare friendship. Your warm words linger like the evening sun. We are privileged to call you friend. Good. All right, so the Canadian people continue to open up their um, arms of friendship. Uh, Suleiman of the Ottoman Empire. Same thing. Make deal. Do we have already? Yeah, we already have on bo open borders. Declare friendship. God has given you wisdom to see the alignment of our interests. Good. So even though Manator and the Ottoman Empire are at war, I don't know what sparked it. I'm not choosing sides. All right. It's only the year 520 AD. I mean, war is just part of the world right now, but I am avoiding it. Right, let's get down here and see what we got. I don't know. There might be a city right there that was a city-state. I'll have to check. All right. So I can bombard Tarsus. Let's see how much damage it does. Yeah, not that much, boys. Not that much. All right, get in here. Kill this damn archer. I mean, I could always upgrade my archer, but I'm trying to save the money for the settler, which I can now get. So the settler, I'm going to purchase in Ottawa. There you go. So he's going to be able to move the next turn. Yeah, we had some loyalty issues, but that's why I want to go get that city right now. Minus five for loyalty. I'll put it down right there. We'll have access to the ocean. I'll take up as much land as I can, and I'll get a governor over there to uh, help out with loyalty, or the lack of loyalty. All right, so here we go. Get your ass up there. Get your ass up there. Uh, Manator has made peace. All right, so here we go. We got peace in the east, baby. Good. So Moroi didn't drop. I don't know what sparked the war, but it doesn't look like any cities were taken. Uh, yeah, they just they just they just fought it out a little bit right there. Border expansion. Oh man. All right. So Preslav, all the city states that uh, were Caesarian of those two are now at peace as well. Good. All right, horsemen, you're gonna stay right there. We're not going after Parsa. All right, hang on one second again, boys. God damn it. All right, here we go. A little bit better. Let's go next turn, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what happens here in Parsa and in Tarsus. I'll start to save up some money. We can upgrade our uh, Canadian archer. The good news is that exploration is going to be done, which will unlock the new government. And uh, I might be able to go after the tech that allows me to upgrade a lot easier. Oh, man, they got horses coming my way as well. Great. Our expression of exploration... Will define humanity's future in the Renaissance era. A two plus era score. The day Good. we stop exploring is the day we commit ourselves to live in a stagnant world, devoid of curiosity, empty of dreams. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Well, then why aren't we in space? God damn it. All right. Uh, exploration. So we've now unlocked the Merchant Republic government. Uh, press gangs for military. 100% production towards industrial era and earlier naval units. Press uh, gangs? Okay, interesting. Uh, colonial offices, economic. 15% faster growth and 3 plus loyalty per turn for cities not on your original continent or your capital's continent. And pastures also will now in or uh, receive 1 plus food. Good, so our pastures are even better. We got a few pastures out there, right? Yeah, there you go. There's one right there in Ottawa. Uh, where was our pasture? Where's our? Where's all our horses? That's this, There you go. That tile's become very nice now. Horses, four food, two production. Good. All right. Uh, Chihokia has made peace with Matthias Corvinus. They still at war, Matthias? Hey, Matthias is a friendly now. I'm going to send a... Del oh, wait, wait, wait. I've already... I already got the settler, right? Yeah, I already got the settler. Yeah, I wasn't able to make... Uh, send a delegation to these two guys. So send a delegation. Yeah, there you go. Good. And I'll make a deal with you. Open borders. Yes. The reason I want to do that is I want to keep everyone friendly with me. Same thing with Cyrus. Make deal. Open borders. You cannot. What do you want? One goal. He's going to chisel one goal out of me. Now, remember, in, in real life, this is probably like, like you know, a million bucks or something. <laughs> or something like that. So I'll accept it. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I want to have good relations with everyone. Christina, uh, do we have open borders? Yes, we do, I believe. Let me just look at every uh, civilization. You can tell if you have open borders by the static line. 
or if it's a uh, not static line it's a that's not the right word I'm looking for uh if it's a straight line or a dotted line yeah maybe that's what I'm looking for yeah I got dotted lines everywhere so I have open boards with everyone yeah I got open boards with everyone good and I've sent delegations everywhere what if the Maori do I have open boards with the Maori yes I do all right good so our horsemen continuing to uh here we go we got some scouts coming this way this is why our mounties are going to be ready for it and our settler this is why i wish i had a road going to victoria the settler is going to take his sweet uh, there you go get your ass down there yeah see he's going to one turn just to get there we're still in a very early age in the game but you know what victoria i'm going to send them to ottawa in fact though i want everything coming out of ottawa so our capital city is just uh producing at its fullest uh, all right, so how much is going to take to upgrade? 250 gold. It's not that bad. We might be able to take my uh, Tarsus through force. So, yeah, you, in fact, get on the road, and we're going to get down here and help out uh, you. All right, we want to take down this archer before he does any damage. Their city can bombard it, but it's only a 15 strength, so it's not that bad. And we also have uh, Victor... Our governor here established in Halifax, so get up there, horsemen. So anytime we get attacked and we're in our territory, we're actually pretty good. But And I think my, my horseman should be fine. It's got uh, half health, and he'll take one shot, and he'll just bounce out of there. All right, so I want to go down here and see what city lies right here. Halip, is that a... I have no clue. Is that a um, a city-state? Bologna, Halip... No, that's, that, 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 that doesn't ring any bells. You can see the Ottoman Empire, though, man. If they could befriend all these city-states, and that's what I'd be doing if I was um, the Ottomans, and take take out a Manator, they have that whole shelf on the east. Real nice. Tehokia has made peace with the Matias Court in Venice, and exploration. We already took a look at that. All right, so our next civic. What do we want to do next? Uh, well, actually, first, let's uh, apply our government. So Merchant Republic going to give us a lot more uh, slots. 10% uh, gold in all cities with an established governor. And we already have four governors. So four of our cities now, 10% gold. Quebec City, uh, Victoria, Halifax, and Ottawa are major cities. Montreal and Toronto are more of uh, district cities. Uh, campuses and in the north, once we get our hockey arenas available. Uh, government. All right, so let's go back there again. So that's going to be uh, very good. And 15% production towards districts. Real good because we just started building districts. We're going to keep on building districts. So Merchant Republic. Your people are enthusiastic to try this new form of government. Confirm the switch. Hell yeah. Ancient traditions of governance evolve. And Wilfred Laurier chooses Merchant Republic as its new way to rule. Two plus era score. All right. Here we go. Got a lot of uh, decisions to make here. So, with our military policy, I still like the idea of saving gold per turn. We have horses out there. We're going to be upgrading our military, our archers. Uh, I'm just looking for anything else I need. Defensive strength, no. Fighting barbarian strength, no. We have good enough units now. All improved horses and iron resources give one extra per turn. That's not bad, but we already have the military out there that we need. Um, and if we were to build up a military to defend ourselves, it would be archers. It would not be horse-based or swordsmen. Um, so we're fine there. Feudal contract, 50% production towards all units, essentially, all ground units. That's not bad. 100% uh, production towards defensive buildings. So if you wanted to quickly build some walls and stuff. Uh, loyalty per turn. Maneuver, 50% production towards cavalry units. Okay. 100% production towards naval units. 50% gold discount on all unit upgrades. Now, that's an interesting one because we are going for uh, Corsair. Hang on a second. Our new government defense minister suggests that we might want to build impressive defenses to protect our bustling capital. All right, so he wants us to build a castle. Very good. But we're going for, um, what's it called, Corsair. And you know what? Yeah, we just got the boost for castles. So that's going to be done in three turns. So we're going to want to upgrade all of our horsemen, and we're going to want to upgrade all of our archers. So, hang on a second. Go back to government here. You governments. Yeah. There we go. So I might want to go, go for that professional army instead of unit maintenance for one turn, and then switch it back later. Uh, pillaging goes up by 50%. 50% resource discounts on uh, all unit upgrades. So that's the actual resource that you use. So horses and iron were fine there. Double experience for recon units. 
and 30% production towards encampment districts. Man, this Maori music, Jesus, it's intense. All right, so I'm going to go for the gold uh, discount on unit upgrades, all right? Now, for the economic policies, we're not building wonders anymore. So let's go two plus gold from all trade routes. We only have two, but we're getting three out there. That'll help us out. Uh, settlers, no. Newly trained builders gain two extra build actions. We want builders. So let me just throw it in there for now. What else could I go for? 50% uh, growth. Settlers. Wonders. No. Reduce the cost of purchasing tiles. No. Two plus housing. That's not bad, but we're still growing right now. So I don't need to help out with uh, uh, amenities or housing. And then the trade, confederation, culture, and science from international trade routes. No, I think those are two good ones. Uh, diplomatic policies. Uh, charismatic leader. Yeah, goal from each envoy at our city-states. I don't think I have that many envoys right now, so I want two influence points per turn so I can get more envoys. And then our wild card policies. Uh, I don't really want any great people. Um, if we're Canada and we want to be allied with everyone, we want to have city-states on our side as well so we get all those bonuses. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to load up on city-state bonuses. One plus gold from each of your envoys at city-states. I don't know how much gold I have. You know what? I'm going to take that one off. And I'm going to put uh, one plus at unit maintenance gold because that's going to do the same thing. But I think I'll save more money with our unit maintenance because we have a lot of military rather than one plus gold from our city-states. And that one's not going to help me get any more. It's just taking advantage of the city-states we already have. So there you go. There's our new Canadian government. Boom. Our policy is set. We're up to 54 gold per turn. So city-states, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd be making seven extra gold per turn. Whereas with this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm making eight extra gold per turn with the military. And I have more military units coming. So that was the right call, I think. Uh, all right, so the new government, yeah. Uh, tech has been boosted for castles, yeah. I don't need to upgrade these guys to coursers yet. It'll come. I just want that uh, available. They're going to go out here first and get this city ready. All right, settler still on his way, taking his sweet-ass time because there's no road in place. And now we have to figure out our next civic upgrade that we want to go after. All right, recorded history. Uh, governor titles, envoys wouldn't be bad to get. I'm just trying to see if there's something that I know I want. Uh, the Chichen Itza, no. Temple, no. Uh, the Taj Mahal, no. Uh, diplomatic service. It's not bad, I'm just reading these. I gotta decide, declare holy war, liberation war. Grants the ability to construct a spy. We might need spies so that we don't get our money stolen. Uh... Ooh, triangular trade. Four plus gold and one plus faith from all trade routes. That's something that we want. We're going to go for uh, merchantilism. Mercantilism? Mer? Merchant? Merchantilism. Oh, my God. Merchantilism. Merchantilism. Merchant. Oh my God. I'm I know it. I can't this is pissing me off, man. Merch. Ah, oh, you know what? Well, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. This game, man. Screws with me. All right, so that's going to take five turns to get there, though. So we're going to pick up a bunch of things in the meantime. Uh, recorded history. i got to build two campuses, and that's not going to get done. Uh, grow a city to 10 population. I've already got that. Gills, I've already got the boost. Uh, a great artist. Merchantilism. Merchantilism. That doesn't sound right in my head. There's no way. Oh, it's so, so annoying, man. I know the word. You guys will let me know in the chat, and then I'll feel like a goddamn idiot. Uh, trader. All right, so Victoria, we just got the trader done. Uh, and Victoria, all right, so I think what I want to do now, just just to be certain, in our frontline cities, Victoria, Quebec, and Halifax, now that we got the district cities done, or the district buildings done, we got the commercial hub with the market done, uh, I want to just, let's just get the ancient walls done to help out our defense in case someone decides to declare war. Because walls are a building that you can't purchase. You have to build them up. So let's just get them out of the way. And we can also build castles after that. Just, uh, I mean, everyone else has got a blue bar on top of their city. We don't, right? Our city is bare. So, yeah, I want to make sure that we take care of that. All right, very good, very good. Let's go next turn. Let's keep an eye. All right, so our horsemen up here in the north, just making sure no barbarians spawn. Uh, and this now. Now, to upgrade, I'll have to take a that, look at that the next turn. But our upgrade now should be a lot cheaper. What was he at before? 250, and now it's down by uh, 50%. What is a 125 now an upgrade? 
All right, so you went after our archer there. Archer's fine. It's going to take 125 to upgrade. Good. All right, so I might as well get you back to good health then. Yeah, same thing with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's send both of these guys over here. We'll be able to take this city out by ourselves. Get Tarsus. I might even just delete Tarsus. Oh, you know what? I do have a diamond resource. Do I have diamond anywhere else in my empire? I don't think I do. I have to decide on whether or not I want to keep that city. Uh, trade route capacity has gone up. Good. So we got another market done somewhere. Good, good, good. All right. So we got a builder done in Ottawa. I want to continue the builders. All right. Ottawa, just keep on pumping out those builders. Uh, another trade route. I'm going to send the trade route to Victoria. Actually... I can send it to Passar Gay Day and get it going through Victoria anyways. And Passar Gay Day will give me 5 plus gold, 1 plus production. Where Victoria will give me 2 plus production, 1 plus food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go for Passar Gay Day. There you go. Rome or Ottawa to Passar Gay Day. Alright, so that'll get the road going to Victoria. And I think that'll help out the uh, settler as well. He might be, the road might catch up to him. All right, so builder, yes, I want Ottawa to get jacked up. So you're just gonna, we're gonna get Ottawa all the way jacked here. All right, so camp, and with our, uh, with our religion, the camp gets an extra food. Good. Uh, workshop has been completed in Quebec. Uh, so we want to do the same thing that we did in Victoria. Walls. All right, walls. Uh, Halifax. We just got the market done, so we can build an extra trader. Uh, but with Halifax, same thing. We don't know if we're gonna have any attacks come. Let's get a walls done. All right, here we go. This scout thinks he can escape the Canadian Mounties. No way, my man. We are expanding westward. We are crushing any friggin' barbs in our way. There you go. All right, very good. You, we're trying to get you down here first. Horseman, you're going to stay put right there. Cast is going to be done in two turns. Yeah, we can upgrade our entire army. It's going to be good. Uh, so we basically uncovered everything. There might be another city right here. So let's go with our scout, see if we can find anything. No, it doesn't look like there is. So that's essentially everything over here in the, uh, the east. I might just put the scout on auto, uh, auto explore. Oh, the Maori. I didn't get Maori back as friends. What the hell? Declare friendship. Ah. There you go. Forgot about that. Uh, and you know what, Christine? You want to be friends too? She's at war with someone, but I haven't met them. I do consider you a friend. Good. All right, so I'm friendly with everyone. Now, do I want to go to... I don't know if I want to be friends with uh, Cord Venice and Persia. I want to see how the world... Because I don't think... It, not a lot of people like this dude. Yeah, so I don't want to become friends with him. And uh, not a lot of people like Persia either. So I just want to stay friends. The fearless foursome of friendship, boys, returns. All right, good, good. Next turn. Let's keep an eye on these uh, free cities. Yeah, Pars is back to full health, and it's going to be... It's going to be growing... I'm sending you gifts worthy of a prince. Fine, a uh, lace, uh, a crossbow, emblazoned. Is that the right word? Emblazoned with your heraldry and paprikish made from my family's uh, recipe. Pre pre paprikish. Paprikish. <laughs> made from my... Oh, my God. Delegation is most welcome. I already sent delegations everywhere, so I already spent the money that I needed to. Uh, but we're going to actually go for Tarsus here. I want to see if I can get this on our side. So, let me just go up here, see if there's anything there. No, it doesn't look like it. So, I'm going to leave this scout now on uh, on Auto Explore, all right? He can do his own thing. We have to get another scout out here in the uh, in the west, but I might as well just build another one. It'll take forever to get over there. Uh, all right, so you, yes, I am going to keep you right there. You're going to heal up for a few turns before I upgrade you. Uh, you, worker, get up here. I just want everything done. I want options, all right? So, yeah, build that mine. There you go. The mine gives two extra. So, Ottawa's just going to get that uh, that boost. All right, you guys, we're going right over here. Yeah, that tile right there, that minus five tile. That's where my city's going. Well, that's where I'd like it to go. Let's make sure there's no settlers coming up here to steal our city. There you go. Very good. Horseman's right there. Horseman's right there. Very good. Quebec needs more housing. We'll get to housing in a second. Just get the walls done. I think, uh, I don't know if walls give housing, but my castles might, or the next one up. Or, you know, it might, it might be, um, military encamp, like barracks. That might give you housing. I forget. Like the encampment upgrades. There it is. Rocks all right, so Parsa has joined. I keep them all. With them, I shall build my castle. Nemo Knox. All right, so castles. 
We can now build medieval walls. No, it increases the strength of your outer defenses. Provides 2 plus tourism. Alright, so it doesn't give you housing. Alhambra uh, provides 1 plus military policy slot. That's not bad. Uh, provides the same defensive bonuses as the fort improvement. Must be built on hills adjacent to an encampment district. 2 plus amenities from entertainment. The Courser, which is the upgrade to our horsemen. Good. And bonus culture from Great Wall Improvement for adjacency. All right. Very good. Uh, the free city of Parsa succumbs to foreign pressure. So look at Hungary. They took out Kapoi from Maori, and now they've taken out Parsa from, uh, from Persia. My God, man. They're growing. Uh, volcano has erupted. All right, so volcano's going off over here. Fertilizing the lands. Man, Mount Kilimanjaro and uh, Relax a Volcano. Just destroying that little piece of land right there. Uh, Ottawa needs more housing. Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to the housing. Stop pestering me. All right, so science. Uh, we just got castles done. So we get the course we're done. Now, we're still going after that night of resource. But you know what? I was thinking we will be able to start building wonders again. I like those wonders that give you extra policy slots, right? So the Alhambra will give you an extra military slot. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what that is, it's these. So you'll get just an extra card uh, that you can add on to all the cards that you get for whatever government you're using, right? So to get an extra card, that's real good. Uh, but the military slot, you know, that's not the greatest for what we're trying to accomplish. But printing down here, the Forbidden City, a 1 plus wild card policy slot. That's a real good one because that allows you... One down here, which will allow you to choose any policy that you want, right? That's a real good one to have. Now, what are the requirements to get the Forbidden City done? Must be built on flat land adjacent to the city center. Also gives you 5 plus culture. Uh, visibility, and also gives you one level of diplomatic visibility on all civilizations. So, city center, flat land. So, like, right there. Forbidden City, right there. In Ottawa. That would work. Yeah. I'm going to go for that, boys. All right, I like that uh, that wonder. You also have the Great Zimbabwe. Your trade routes from this city get two plus gold for every bonus resource within three tiles of the city and in the city's territory. Must be built adjacent to a commercial hub with a market and adjacent to cattle. I mean, Jesus. Uh, it's, a, it's a good one, but there's so many requirements for that. Cattle, do I have cattle? There's my cattle. Where's my financial district? I would need to build, like, a financial district right there. And then the Great Zimbabwe right there. And then bonus resource. So you get 2 plus gold. Uh, 2 plus gold. Uh, 2 plus gold. 2 plus gold. Yeah, it would, be, it would be a good one. You'd get a lot of gold per turn for building the Great Zimbabwe. But you'd have to build a commercial hub first. Because there's a lot that goes into building that. Uh, the Venetian Arsenal, real good. Um, anytime you build a military or a naval unit in any city, you get a duplicate of that unit. But I don't see us being a strong naval force. I mean, if you're Maori, then you want it. If you're anyone down here in the south, you want it. We're at the uh, the Arctic Shelf. You know, even over here, it's a, it's a nice little bay, but you can't get around, it doesn't look like. So I don't think the Venetian Arsenal is something that we want to target. Uh, and then the Casa de Concentration. Concentration. Uh, three governor promotions. Real good, but... Again, I'd have to build a government plaza. I like the idea of the Forbidden City and then the Patala Palace, which gives you one plus diplomatic policy slot. Go for the policy slots if we're Canada. Try to win through diplomacy. So we're going to go for printing. All right. Uh, ancient walls done. Let's get it done. Medieval wall, nine turns. The ancient walls is nice. If we just get the medieval walls done nine turns, we'll be able to defend ourselves very, very effectively. How long is it going to take for Quebec City? We just don't have great production in Victoria yet. Porter, yeah, you know what? I got to get some production in Victoria. We have to get some uh, some builders over there to Victoria next. So the one builder over here in Ottawa is getting like five different builds because uh, of, our, of our, what's it called? Yeah, newly trained builders gain two extra build options. So yeah, I want to pump out as many builders as I can right now. Those cities need to be able to produce far more. All right, get your ass up here. Cross the river. Oh, uh, no. Keep, cross the river, stay in the trees, and maintain that flanking bonus. We'll go after them. Don't worry. Uh, you, yeah, I just want... Yeah, I just want to get these done. Uh, is that a hill? No, it's an open ground. So, yeah, I'm going to put a lumber mill in there. There you go. 
Your knowledge of mass production has advanced considerably. Good. Now that you have a ready supply, a ready, ready supply of standardized boards, your shipping industry will take off soon. Good. Uh, mass production. All right. So that's that taken care of. Settlers still on the way over there to the west. Uh, and Tarsus. All right. So I'm trying to get... Yeah. Not yet. Now one more turn for both these guys. Then I can upgrade them and go after Tarsus. We're going to need uh, double bombard. To get through to Tarsus. Oh my god. I send you gifts of uh, bandy sticks, pickled herring, uh, lingslilt, and uh, knackerbrod. Don't eat the bandy sticks. Okay. <laughs> Your de delegation is most welcome. Thank you. I don't know what the hell they're saying to me. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so 10 turns before Hagmatana drops. Uh, what's the uh, 15 turns for the era score? He's going to lose his biggest city. Our Mounties being attacked. That's okay. In my life. Some of which actually happened. Mark Twain. Alright, so recorded history is done. We have natural philosophy. Campus districts get 100% bonus. So that campus in Toronto with 5 science, we can turn it to 10 science, which is really good. Uh, Praetorium. Uh, governors provide 2 plus loyalty. And the Great Library receive a boost to all ancient and classical era technologies. It's not bad. Classical and... Uh, but we're already... Industrial era, Renaissance era, medieval era. Yeah, that's to get caught up in, uh, in the, yeah, that's get caught up in all of these, but we already have it. So that's with the great library is not something that we need. All right, government. What I get a new, what just happened? All right, because I can change. Right, 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 right. Anytime you unlock new cards, you can change. Uh, no, I don't need to change anything. I like it. Uh, we do have a new governor that we can, uh, go after though. Um, now, we have that one card where we get, what, 10 plus extra gold for the governor, or the governors in the cities? Did we have that one? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, we have that, right? Yeah, 10 plus gold in all cities with an established governor. So, we want to get as many governors as we can out there. So, Toronto or Montreal, who's making more gold? 4.4 uh, and 0. So, yeah, we need a governor in Montreal. Governors. Uh, the Cardinal, the Diplomat, or the su Surveyor. Where I'm not religious. Um, city-states, that's not bad. But the Surveyor, all builders trained in the city will get one plus build charge. Oof, that's not bad. Especially that I'm pumping out builders. Yeah, you know what? Appoint. And I'm going to appoint them to Ottawa. All right, assign. Yes. And Pingala, you can go to Montreal. All right, I'll switch them back after. But um, the builders come in. We'll get an extra build. So I'll have six builds from these builders. That's like having two builders in one city. That's real good. All right, all right, all right. So that's the plan in Ottawa right now. I want to pump out those builders. Uh, Valletta's made peace with uh, Matthias Corden Venice. All right, so is Corden Venice not at war with anyone else anymore? No, he's still at war with Persia. Just the city state's no longer under Persian control. Oh my god, I can't believe that. All right, so we got the ancient walls done over here. We want that medieval wall now. Get the medieval walls done on the front line, so we're safe. All right, and now these guys are pretty much done, so you. I'm going to upgrade you, Crossbowman. Very good. Corsair, yeah, 125. Boom. And I'll upgrade this archer last. He'll go the next turn because he's still got one more to go. So there's our first Canadian Corsair, boys. Yeah. And our new Crossbowman. So we're making good gold per turn right now. This is why I wanted to get those, uh, um, what's it called, trade routes and the commercial hubs done. We're really seeing the benefit from it now. Uh, Toronto. All right. We might as well in Toronto get that library going. All right. Make the district even better. Uh, builders. All right. So stay out here, builders. Yeah. I just want anything and everything. Every single tile in our capital, I want it improved. Uh, you. Across the river. Uh, you know, I'm going to just heal these guys up. We don't need to be attacking these guys. It's really just about waiting for the settler to get over there. He's going to take a fucking long time. To get nine turns to get over. This is why you need roads, man. Oh, my God. He's going to take his sweet-ass time getting over there. Uh, all right. And you know what? In fact, this warrior, he can go over there as well. That warrior can be the uh, the guy who stands in the city. Because the horseman, I want to be able to move around. Uh, and I, But I want somebody on the front line just in case barbarians spawn there. All right. Very good. Next turn. Let's go. 
So what I'll let you guys do is chime in where do you think the city should go down. I won't put the city down in this video. I'm thinking right there. So you have access to the water. You can put a harbor right there. Water park right there. It'll take up as much land as possible. So there won't really be any room to go anywhere else. We can have a city up there in the north later on in case any oil spawns. But by putting the city right there, there won't be any room to put a city there. Uh, the loyalty from Passar Gede, you're not going to go down here. I think it's just right there, right? Just take a big city. Not multiple. Just one big city right there. I don't want to keep on building settlers. We already have our empire. But that's a good chunk of land. That's too much to pass up. All right, so builder. More builder. More builders. All right, so this builder, only five. Remember, she's not going to arrive for four more turns. Well, that's okay. All right, so you, builder. I want you down here. We've got to get Victoria's production up, which means... Lumber mills. Yeah, lumber mills right now. Get your ass down there. Unit needs orders. Horsemen. Oh, we're going to just uh, heal up for one more turn. Lumber mill. Uh, all right, now here we go. All right, so they are attacking again. I'm going to upgrade you. Crossbowman. Your knowledge of metal casting has advanced considerably. Good, so we're getting lots of upgrades. Behold... The new snipers in the Canadian Empire, boys. We've upgraded our shots. Far down time. Yeah. There you go. All right. So crossbowmen doing good damage. And now our courser comes out, boys. Our new Canadian horsemen. Our new mounties. Get them, boys. Get them. The upgrade. The courser is much better than the horsemen. And now we got a promotion available as well. Good. Uh, you're going to be ready for the next turn. Tech boost. Metal casting. All right. So printing. I gotta try to build two universities. It's not gonna happen. And grow a city to 10 population. Yeah, it looks like that could happen in 12 turns. Civil service. Is there anything else I could target right now? Instead of civil service? No, I have to go for civil service. Is there anything basic I could pick up just for some envoys? Three turns, get an envoy. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm gonna have... Uh, it looks like I'm going to have this city grow to 10 in 12 turns, but we want to, I don't know. Sometimes it's good to say, but sometimes if you're going for something specific, you just want to race there as soon as possible. All right, so let's go next turn. See the trader getting to Victoria now, so the builder is getting there a lot faster. Unfortunately, the settler had to walk on, uh, walk on the terrain with no roads. All right, so, oof, that guy. Oh, no, 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 we're okay. I was going to say, he did some damage there. No, the course was fine. All right, swordsmen attacking my horsemen. All right, in the north. They're still attacking, you crazy barbarians. My Canadian mounties will not be stopped. All right, all right, all right. Valletta has declared war, war on Matthias Corn Venice. Uh, Valletta has made peace with Matthias Corn Venice. And here we go, finally, an upgrade. All right, so on um, comparison, anti cavalry. Probably, I'm trying to think which way I want to go down all the way to escort mobility. Siege units. Probably want to go down there. Coursers. 5 plus combat strength when attacking range and siege units. So you'll destroy those units instead of trying to be better against spearmen. But it'll allow me to have a better flanking bonus. The next upgrade, I don't really want pillaging only costing one movement point. Uh, and then one movement for pursuit. Rather than spiking the guns, 7% combat strength versus siege units. I'm already getting the siege unit upgrade. And then that'll allow me formation units all formation units all inherit escorts movement speed formation units oh that's cool so if you put like a great general or a worker in the unit and you lock them they travel just as fast yeah I'm gonna go for that coursers there you go all right uh, we got another upgrade oh for you here we go upgrade you the courser we'll give him the courser upgrade makes sense uh, all right you. Get your ass up here. Don't worry about the city bombarding us. We'll be fine. But now with our new crossbowman, how much damage do we do to the walls? Let's see. Yeah, it's not, it's not too shabby. We'll be able to, we'll be able to take down Tarsus because they don't have anything they can fight us back with. Good. And then we have to decide if we want to keep Tarsus or not. So that's another thing i got to let you guys decide on. Uh, get up here. Yeah, let's get that, uh, that done. I don't think we have any... Diamond resources. Hang on a second. If I go to my trade screen, uh, make a deal. No, I don't have any diamond resources. That, that city, although it's stealing 
desert away from Halifax, and it's already put a, a holy site down there, so there's not much I can do about it. Although that holy site will get the my Machu Picchu upgrade. You guys are going to have to decide whether or not we want to hold on to Tarsus. You can get another good, you can get some campuses down here. I mean, it's not bad. It's another city. The only reason we didn't like it was because it stole these two desert tiles away from Halifax, who had the Petra going, but it's, you know, the Petra's not the end-all be-all. Uh, all right, so let's go next turn. Uh, what do you think of this? Uh, no, I'm not going to have any of those deals right now. I'm not giving up my iron. Oh, we're getting iron per turn? Or is that their... Yeah, they were trying to give us iron. Never mind. Alright, so the skirmishers attacking our Canadian Mounties in the west. The busy workshops of your empire hint at the greatness to come. Is an industrial revolution about to commence? Your knowledge of industrialization has advanced considerably. Good. Alright, so housing is still an issue in Victoria and Halifax. I will work on that. Industrialization has been improved. Uh, Courser... Uh, you're going to get down here, my man. We are going to bombard the hell out of Tarsus now. That's all the damage they did to our crossbowmen with their bombard. Yeah, their city's just not strong enough. Alright, and uh, yeah, might as well go in there and start attacking. Take them down. Alright, so the city of Tarsus is going to fall. It's going to be ours. It's only a matter of time, right? We've done that much damage now that the walls are down. And you see the damage to our military is nothing. Uh, there's nothing coming on the back end. So I'll let you guys take a look at the city. Um, do you think we should keep it or tr or uh, just burn it to the ground? One, two, three. I could also go out and get that spices resource. I could purchase those two tiles. And then I could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm getting two new luxury resources with Tarsus. That's pretty good. And you could put a... You have the holy site, which is along these three mountains. So that's plus three with our... With our friggin... Uh, what's Machu Picchu? Plus three for faith. Then you could put another campus right here. Plus uh, three... And then another one right here, plus one, two, three, four. Another one right here, plus two. So it's a real good district city. And there's plenty of production. Like, I could chop down these rainforests and, and get a big increase to Tarsus. I, you know what? I think I'd like to keep Tarsus. You also have a Truffles resource. I already have Truffles somewhere in my empire. But you get two new amenities and a third copy as well. What do you guys think? I think we should keep Tarsus, to be honest. Uh, over here in the west... Our Canadian Mounties doing their job, taking care of these damn skirmishers, these barbarians. There you go. Yeah, boys. So there's the encampment up there. We will take them out. Uh, the warrior that's going to protect the city. And then the settler who is slowly on their way. So I'd like to put the city right here. Minus six for loyalty. But once I put my governor over there, we get a plus eight for loyalty. So we'll be in the positive, And then I'll build up a monument. Uh, walls will be fine, right? So I would like to go right there. We'll have access to everything. We'll take a good chunk of that land. And it'll be a mega city. All right. Uh, Hagmatana down in two more turns. So we have to decide what we want to do with uh, Matthias Cornvinus. We got medieval walls done in Quebec. So what's next for Quebec? We don't need... You know what? Trader. Let's get that trader done. We have one extra trade route. Let's just get it done. Montreal finished the workshop. Good. Uh, Montreal. Let's get the just some basic buildings done. Uh, the monument might as well. Uh, next turn. So monument in one turn in Montreal. Library in one turn in Toronto. Builders were pumping out in Ottawa. Uh, getting the walls done in Victoria and Halifax. We need more production in Victoria. Uh, Quebec is free to start building what we want, and we're going for another city. So what do you think, uh, Canada? What should be our next step? If we have to start worrying about Hungary down here, because now their borders border our borders. So if they, you know, if they want to continue to expand through military, uh, we're the next uh, logical target to go after, because they could own this whole part. So uh, we're going to have to watch out for them. Persia seems like they're donezo. I mean, maybe we want to declare war on Pasar Gede and take their capital city, right? I mean, if they lose Hagmatana, they only have one city left. Just go for it. But then that might turn world favor against us by exterminating Persia. We also have to figure out what the hell's going on over here in the west. So I got to get my scout. Where is my scout? He's on auto. He's coming back. He's on his way back. I'm going to have to build up a scout. So let me know anything and everything, Canada. And I will see you 
in the next Civilization 6 video. Hey guys, Johnny here, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Nandez. Oh my God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to shit all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win. Trip to the wild card, first inning.